on the on the positive side of things, can you talk for a little bit about TJ, friend of the show, TJ McConnell? Because I mean, he's getting paid this summer somewhere, for sure. For and sure. he just played out of his mind basically all year. Yeah, so TJ is my guy. I played against TJ twice. Was it twice in college? I know I played him. I played against TJ twice in college at Arizona. They beat us both games, and uh, I've always respected his game. I loved his game. I loved his his just his hustle, his tenacity. Um, he was one of those guys who I just like watching. Um, so obviously, I watched his career when he went to the NBA. I didn't know how long he would stick. I thought he would be, you know, one of those guys who was kind of just out after a couple years. Um, but obviously he's found a home. I don't know if it's going to be Indiana or where it is, but TJ had a a special season this year and, you know, we wouldn't have been even close to, we, we made the play in, but we wouldn't have even been anywhere close to that without TJ, you know, his contributions on both sides of the basketball, his willingness to pick up full court, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, expanded his game offensively this year too. So it was good for everybody on the inside to see because he works extremely hard each and every day on his game. So anybody like that, you just want to see him succeed for sure. So you let me get this right. You thought you thought TJ was going to play in the NBA when he was at Arizona? No, nah, when he was in Arizona, <laughs> I thought it was no way. We had Spike. We had Spike Albrecht. At yes, Michigan. yes. I honestly thought Spike was better than TJ. And I'm like, Spike don't even want to play in the NBA. He obviously wants to play, but he don't even think he's good enough to play in the NBA. So I'm like... I don't know if he's going to play, um, but after, you know, his first year, I'm like, okay, he'll probably be in for a couple of years, but I definitely didn't see it how it is now, but he's very, he was very deserving of it. I will say that for sure. When TJ, when TJ came on, uh, I had to item on the ringer podcast, my, my previous iteration of the podcast before Tommy was my co-host. And when he had, when I had him on the podcast, I told him that uh, I remember watching his last college game mm-hmm. at Arizona and I remember thinking to myself, that guy plays so hard. You can tell he loves basketball. It's just sad he's never going to get to play basketball <laughs> I saw again. That. I saw that. <laughs> I'm also an asshole, but yeah. whatever. Everybody, everybody had the same thoughts about it. It's, it's. I'm so, I'm so proud of him. So, I, I've sung his praises ad nauseum, uh, any chance I get, mm-hmm. about the type of dude he is in the locker room, the type of teammate he is. Um, can you just speak on that for a second so that I'm not the only one saying these things? Yeah, nah, TJ is one of those guys who doesn't really have a bad day. He's one of those guys who's always, he's selfless. He's just trying to make sure everybody is feeling their best, making sure everybody's, you know, in their best, you know, mental state, making sure everybody's positive. He keeps it light, making sure guys are laughing. He's one of those guys who you need on your team. Um, And then on the court, he plays extremely hard. So it's like he gives you both sides of it. You know, he's a good guy in the locker room, and then he plays extremely – he leaves it all out there on the court. So you definitely want to go to war with a guy like TJ for sure. 